What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we are back with another video on my all-time favorite gun and a lot of your guys' favorite gun as well, the Henry Lever Action 4570. Still probably the coolest 4570 I've ever seen. I haven't found one yet that I like more than this one. So the internet and Hollywood has kind of made these guns synonymous with killing T-Rex, obviously because of the Jurassic Park movies. He uses a, a Marlin 1895, I believe. Actually on Marlin's website, they even list the T-Rex as one of the animals that the 4570 is capable of hunting. Now, of course it's all a joke, and again, it stems from Hollywood, but personally, I don't think the 4570 could kill a T-Rex, but I could be wrong. The truth is we won't really know until Jurassic Park happens in real life and we get a chance to put all these theories to the test. But today, I wanna see how far this rifle can penetrate, how powerful it is, and whether or not it could actually kill a t-rex let's do it and of course in every 4570 video a close-up is mandatory because it's just so dang beautiful we ought to give this gun a name i've been calling it sexy rexy lately which i think fits the gun pretty well if you have any better ideas let me know down in the comments well unfortunately this gun's been locked in the safe for over a week so before we start doing all of our tests we got to make sure it's still working i'm just giving excuses because i'm dying to shoot it it's been so long all right we'll just hit our steel targets Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's do the rubber dummy right in the chest. Perfect. Well, it's obviously still zeroed. I missed you so much. Let's try some smaller targets and expose my crappy marksmanship skills. I knew it. I knew I would flinch and miss at least one of those. <laughs> like it never happened. And by the way, so far these have all been reduced pressure loads. We haven't even shot anything powerful yet. But yesterday I picked up a mini fridge and I wanted this to be a target that would last a while that we could shoot over and over again. So this is probably a bad idea for the first bullet to put into this thing, but inside, I have a watermelon. So we're gonna shoot this watermelon through the mini fridge with the 4570 and see what kind of damage it does. I've always wanted to do this. Of course, for this one, we're gonna use something a little bit hotter. This is a 300 grain Federal Fusion. So quite a bit more powerful than the last stuff we were shooting. Well, that was awesome. I definitely didn't expect it to blow the door open and throw watermelon guts out all over the place. I thought it would contain it. <laughs> wow. All right, let's assess the damage in our mini fridge. I can already tell that it definitely blew some of that glass apart. Obviously, I expected that. You can see our bullet hole right there in the middle. Go ahead and open this thing. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely disgusting. You can see the giant exit hole back there. Obviously the 4570 just blew straight through and out the other side, but wow, that is quite the mess. That was way more dramatic than I was expecting. <laughs> All right, well it's been raining for about a week straight, so I think it's a good time to try and make a fireball. Probably ain't nothing left in it, but let's see. Nah. Really quick guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go check it out. I've been trying to actually grow it lately so that I can communicate with you guys over there as well. It's a little tough in the YouTube comments to get back to everyone because we're always moving so fast and you know, on to the next video, but I do post more on Instagram. Plus I like to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on with the channel and post picture updates and stuff like that. So go check that out. Shameless plug over. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to the important part of the video, the penetration test. So obviously when you're talking about hunting a T-Rex, the most important thing is gonna be penetration because they're just such massive animals. And actually what gave me the idea for today's video was the ballistic shell test that we did a couple weeks ago because I was so impressed with how much penetration we got. It made me seriously curious if the 4570 could actually kill a T-Rex. Oh yeah. It penetrated 
almost all the way through and holy crap look at the penetration on that thing so if these are 16 inch gel blocks i would say that probably got 26 27 inches of penetration and now i know why people use the 4570 for big game and predators because that is insane penetration so i had like a dozen ideas that came to mind for this video and obviously had to dwindle it down to a couple so for the first one we're just going to keep it simple and do a water penetration test so as you can see on the table we have 10 one gallon water jugs which <laughs> is a lot of water this stuff is obviously pretty good at stopping bullets and they say humans and animals are like 75 percent water so it should be a good test i honestly think the 4570 could get through all 10 of these if the bullet goes straight I don't know, let's find out. All right, get ready for the recoil. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not think it was gonna spray that far back. Holy crap. I even got like 10 yards away on purpose to prevent that. So you're not gonna believe this, about five feet in front of me, look what I found. I guess because I was getting a full blown shower at the time, I didn't see it happen, maybe the camera picked it up, but apparently it went through the water jugs, bounced off the railroad tie wall, and kind of flew back towards us. Obviously not like a ricochet or else it wouldn't have bounced off the wood, it would have went through. And that kind of tells me that it was probably about to stop, but that's definitely our fully expanded, fully intact bullet. How cool is that? So there's our first two water jugs. You can see it just completely blew those apart and off the table. Our third water jug is also pretty much exploded. And then in number four, you can actually start to see where the bullet was going. So it's a little high, which I did on purpose, but still pretty much right in the middle of the water jug. And then number five is exactly the same. Obviously the exit holes are a little bigger than the entrance holes. And then it started to go up into number six and you can see that bullet hole is a little bit higher number seven and then it exited out the back more towards the top of our seventh water jug right there and then eight nine and ten are completely untouched so that must be where it went and hit our railroad tie wall and then bounced back towards us so unfortunately it did kind of curve up but seven water jugs is still very impressive Had to finish them off. All right, for our final test, I guess we'll go ahead and call this the T-Rex test. We have quite a bit going on here. So I'm gonna try to create like a makeshift dinosaur that I think would be really, really tough to get through. So our first layer is a piece of leather and that is real leather. So that's gonna be like our dinosaur skin. And then behind that, I have a layer of 2A body armor, which might be excessive, but for some reason, I just feel like dinosaur skin would be extremely tough maybe like 2a body armor so that's behind our leather and then for the bone i'm actually going to use a half inch cutting board i've never shot these before but i would imagine they're probably pretty tough so that's our dinosaur bone and then for the tissue we have a 10 percent ballistic shell block obviously it's sideways so only six inches of ballistic shell and then for the blood or body fluid we're going to use another gallon jug of water and then at the very end we have a little watermelon for our heart, lungs, vitals, whatever you wanna call it. So if it can get all the way through all this stuff and into our watermelon and explode it, we can say that the 4570 might be able to kill a T-Rex or not, I don't know. And to make it official, I even went ahead and marked it. This is gonna be so scientific. And of course, for this one, we're gonna use the same bullet since this is the best penetrating round that we have. I tell you what, if it stops in that body armor, I might, take it off and try it again because I really don't know if the 4570 can even get through to a body armor, but <laughs> we'll try it. I think we did it. Well, I guess I answered the body armor question. It's definitely not rated for a 4570, but let's check this stuff out. So here's our first layer. 
the sheet of leather that we had and you can see the bullet hole and the exit hole right there it looks like it went into the body armor and easily blew straight through obviously and then you can see the hole in our cutting board right there it's so dirty i don't want to touch it and then touch my camera but yeah clearly it went all the way through all that stuff no problem and then look at our ballistic gel that is freaking cool hope you guys can see that you can see right where it went in and then went straight through that gel block sideways our water jug ended up on the back side of the watermelon but it was actually in front look at the exit hole on our watermelon <laughs> that is crazy you can see like the exact shape of that expanded bullet and if you line the exit hole in the watermelon up it lines up perfectly with that mark on our rubber dummy right there it even looks like it brought watermelon with it but obviously that bullet was not going very fast because it didn't even penetrate the rubber dummy are you kidding me i can't get this lucky twice in one video and just to give you guys a closer look at the damage that it did in that watermelon pretty cool and then obviously we just got that perfect clean exit hole right there so unfortunately i couldn't find that bullet maybe the cameras will show us where it went but there you have it 100 scientific 100 realistic the 4570 could absolutely kill a t-rex no obviously i don't know i tend to think that the 4570 wouldn't be powerful enough to kill a t-rex i would want like a 50 bmg 700 nitro something crazy crazy powerful like that but if we saw anything here today uh, the 4570 is definitely really good at penetrating it just wouldn't be my first choice for jurassic park i'll say that either way obviously just a fun video the 4570 has been synonymous with killing t-rex ever since we saw him in the jurassic park movie so i thought i would come out and put it to the test today and i hope that you guys enjoyed this ridiculous video if you did please let me know down in the comments below as always hit that like button for me guys i'd really appreciate it thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.